Access all areas is at Arena Group's headquarters in Cambridgeshire to learn about the process of installing their ice rooms across the country, and later we'll be heading to Hampton Court Palace to see it all in action. Hi, I am Jessica Green. I'm a project manager for Arena Structures and I've worked for Arena for about five years and this is my fourth year project managing Hampton Court Palace. I'm Wes Lassar and I'm, I'm account director for Arena Ice. I'm Kelly Baker. I am director of managed ice for Arena Group. Yeah, my name is Ross Robertson. I am managing director of Arena Structures UK and Europe. So Arena have four managed ice rinks. We have one at Westfield, one at Greenwich, one at Manchester and this one at Hampton Court Palace. Uh, we work all over the world as well. Um, we do a lot of historical sites. Um, we did uh, some very cool, uh, we did Natural History Museum before and uh, Tower of London as well, so some complicated sites. So we have Arena Structures on site. We will build the rink, the skate exchange that you can see and all the structural elements. We then have various subcontractors doing the interior design and uh, the chillers, the generators, there's many subcontractors and people involved in making this happen. Uh, we range from you know, uh, ice rinks like Hampton Court, 1,200 square metres, um, along with all the tentage. Um, it's probably about two to three weeks worth of, of build time. Um, the, the ice freeze time probably was around about four days, weather dependent as well. Um, and we do jobs just as small as 200 square meters, which could take two days alone. Um, like Jess over there manages uh, JW3, which is one of the smallest ones. Um, so yeah, it really just depends. Hampton Court has got bigger and smaller and changed over the years. We have to work with historic rural palaces and their rules and restrictions. So they have to have very clear sight lines of the palace. Um, so we have to work within their guidelines, but to offer the best thing that we can for them. Last year, we transitioned 50% of our rinks from generator diesel to uh, hard power, which reduced 176 tonnes of CO2 emission. We also have a collaboration with a sustainability platform called Everclimb, and we're looking to change our last 25% of rinks to HVO this year. We're constantly on the lookout for new work, if it's viable for us and viable for the venues too. I'm mostly here for the build and then I hand over to the event management team, but I like to come during the event to see people enjoy it. Otherwise, yeah, that's where I get my satisfaction from. So we have a sales team that start, they'll work with the venue or the client in order to win the contract and they'll pass it over to me as a project manager. And from there on, I'll work with the arena ice, the yard, the office staff, arena structures, the construction managers and bring them all together from various departments all across the country to make it happen. There is a lot of people involved behind the scenes as well as on site you've seen today. We're back at Hampton Court, this time for the final product. The rink is open, let's go and check it out. The exciting thing for us this year is that we are running off HVO at Hampton Court Palace. Um, rather than diesel, which obviously is much better for the environment. It still has its challenges, but it's, but it's a lot better for the environment. We made the commitment last year um, with our sustainability that all site fuel, but all our fuel for ice rinks would be HVO, um, which has had a dramatic effect in reducing our carbon footprint. Um, we've reduced that from, by 72% from 2022 to 2023. Um, so that's something that we, we, we want to keep improving on, looking to improve on. Um, several of our rinks have moved over to hard power, which has had a dramatic effect as well on our carbon, our carbon footprint. Um, and you know, we're, we're always looking for that solution with the client to see where we can, we can help drive the sustainability. We've also partnered with Everclimb um, this year with the rinks, um, with the managed ice rinks, so we can offset the carbon um, from the guest, the guest experience as well. So, um, you know, we're, we're we're bringing in as many initiatives as we can. Um, Material-wise, we're always looking to utilise the best materials that we can, um, and really track that that sustainability element of the project. Reduced massive reduction or emphasis on the reduction in waste on site. Um, 
and you know making sure that we reuse as much of the material as possible um, and try and limit the amount that we put to landfill. So out of season really it's just all the, all the planning that goes into it, building all the ticketing platforms, getting tickets um, on sale at a good time and, and in line with all the other rinks that open in the winter as well. So I think we were at Hampton Court Palace, we were I think we were about the second or third rink to go on sale for the season. I think the main challenges for us is always the weather. Um, and here at Hampton Court Palace, the other challenges are things like the river, because uh, it gets very windy by the river and we're right alongside the river here. Um, also the trees as well, there's lots and lots of leaves falling onto the ice, so you're con constantly out with the leaf blower and clearing the ice. Planning is always, is always the key, you know, you know plan, plan, plan um, in conjunction with the client. Um, some of the clients are very uh, hands-on and demanding and they will, they will work with you, others are very much, that's the space, that's what we've got you know, give us give us the best that we can get, give us as much as we can get in there. Um, uh, planning constraints are difficult with some of the sites, the likes of Hampton Court is a, you know, English heritage site, so it's very difficult um, working in there. You know, you've got to respect the environment that you're working in and, you know, there's a lot of sensitivity around trees and, you know, that that area. So we've got to respect, respect that and respect all the sites that we're working in. Manchester's a, a challenging site because it's very, very tight and there's an awful lot of infrastructure squeezed into that area, it's really maximised but um, you know good relationships with the council, good relationships with the Hampton Court Palace and the other sites that we work on, making sure that we're, we're conforming to what their site restrictions are and delivery restrictions. We now have uh, an operations manager who's fully involved with ice rinks throughout the whole year um, so the ice rinks come back after being in use and the preparation starts straight away. So in the yard, the crews will be starting to you know, check the, the equipment back in, identify what needs to be repaired, and then the repair work starts. And then obviously the, the, the maintenance of that equipment is really carried on right all the way through, probably till about June, July. And then the picking and the batching starts for the, the loadouts for uh, the rinks through September into October time. So that's it, we've been behind the scenes at the arena Cambridge HQ, we've been here for the final day of builds and now here's the final product. It's great to see it all come together. <laughs>